An ideal client is a company that is global and well diversified in its business. What we do is maximize their presence by connecting them with multiple decision makers and opinion leaders in a variety of industries, you know, such as healthcare, industrial manufacturing, energy, uh, oil and gas. We also help clients become strategic advisors to their customers and provide added efficiency to become technology driven. Well, I can't give all my secrets away, but what I, I love what I do and I focus on creating media for the client as a platform for opportunity through storytelling or placing innovative themes around the brand versus you know, utilizing what's out there in the standard form. So for example, we had a client that had a strong safety offering to their product and another who wanted to be the number one technology company among companies that built American-made parts in the Midwest. As a media planner, I made sure the brand was at the forefront of owning that story across the web and in content, both print and online. So with 30 years of experience in the business, my pool of knowledge allows me to recommend, I mean verbally or almost on the fly, any website or publication that targets a specific job title or industry. I would say leading the customer to identify with the client's business as synonymous with the industry itself. So for example, uh, when thinking of IoT, you think of Siemens first, or when you need an advisory and technology company for building and automating a business, you think of EY. When you think of machinery operations and lubrication, uh, Shell is at the forefront uh, as a true business partner. So we can accomplish that by being in the right media, targeting the right business decision maker at the right time. So for example, if you need to reach plant engineers, you consider how communications planning might be developed at both a broad corporate level and also at a level where you're top of mind on the plant floor and engaging the plant engineer every time they pick up a trade journal or go online. I'd say giving the client a voice as a business solutions provider and not just as a supplier. Uh, building affinity towards the brand is also key. This is not only about demonstrating thought leadership, but it's also about differentiating yourself by supplying a technology or a service that goes beyond the product itself and is communicated and accessible through both live and interactive media tools and events. Advertising that is reactive or scattered, ad hoc or random ads that are placed without the support of an ongoing presence during the year. Also, unaudited media does not serve clients well. That type of media diminishes what is fundamental about trade media, the ability to quantify and verify who is being reached and their exact line of work. By selling TV spots, I walked into a company with a storyboard and tried to illustrate what their commercial would look like and then sell them on the idea. The goal was to hinge use of the ad with a package for buying spots on a local news channel. And you never forget your first big B2B client, which for me was the YKK Zipper Company. I had to speak about apparel and medical device media in front of a large international group of, uh, of clients. We win clients with technology, systems planning, that allows us to connect everything together, from the flow of audience interaction between paid and owned media to the way media is delivered over time. Technology that illustrates how investments in media pay back to the client. Central systems that collect and link all data in one place to make the process of buying media more efficient. These systems are very unique in what differentiates Mediacom from the competition. The biggest opportunity now is making communications more experiential and tangible while being multi-dimensional and dynamic. I would like to see more infographics being produced. Uh, Account-based marketing is on the rise. It helps us communicate directly with companies and repurpose content or redirect content based on the way people are sharing and absorbing information and solving more industry-related issues with magazine and website editors has become prevalent. Buying media in an auction-like setting is also on the rise. It means paying the right dollar amount at the right moment in real time and also looking at intent signals of customers. 
We help companies solve industry issues by developing a strong partnership with the editors or publishers in a particular industry. We try and solve business issues through research, data, customer success stories, academic and business insights that can be communicated via newsletters, uh, sponsored advertorial, webcasts, ebooks, white papers, just to name a few. I would say Stephen King's On Writing. And it's about how persistence, simplicity, creativity, and humility are the cornerstones of success. Also, lessons from the classic Charlie and the Chocolate Factory ring true to me on a day-to-day -day basis. Never take too much, never take too little. Be balanced in everything you do and manage in life and business to achieve success.